Hey there gamers, it's Screwstone from GameCore Online with Modern Warfare 3 Search and Destroy on the map Piazza using one of my favorite weapons, the MP7. And yeah, that gun gets a lot of hate because it's fast, accurate, and almost no recoil. But even though it's one of my favorite guns, I don't use it much because a lot of people use it and I get tired of the gun. But will we see it in Black Ops 2? Hopefully, but I would rather have my Uzi back, the mini Uzi, not the one in Black Ops. That, that bitch was fucking horrible. I'm talking about the mini Uzi like in Call of Duty 4. Dude, that gun was a beast. Out of all the Call of Duty weapons, I think that's one of the best guns they've added. Now, will the mini Uzi make a comeback in Black Ops 2? I highly doubt it. I was expecting it to see it in this game, but we all know that shit didn't happen. Uh, speaking about Black Ops 2, in one of my other videos, if you fucking watch my videos, I said that I would rather wait for Black Ops 2, see some gameplay, and then decide if I was going to buy it. But I've been thinking about it, looking into the game, and I decided that I'm going to get it on day one. And the reason is, I'm a huge fan of Call of Duty Zombies. From what I've heard, there's a lot of things going on for that. Back then was a 4 player co-op, and now it's going to be an 8 player co-op. Eight fucking people running around killing zombies, tell me that's not sick. Back then I would reject people because my lobby was always full, but now I can play with more people which means it should be more fun. And I even heard that they were adding game modes for zombies, so we might see 4 versus 4 or 4 teams of 2 playing against each other. What will the game modes be? I don't know who can survive the longest or who can reach a certain amount of points first. I mean, those are quick thoughts. I'm not saying those are going to be the game modes, but they got to have something in mind, something that will keep us entertained and make us want to play it even more, you know? Because zombies does get boring after a while. It's the same thing over and over. And once you reach a high level, you will end up suiciding just so you can stay in the leaderboard. So, as in for zombies, I think there's going to be nothing but good stuff in Black Ops 2. Now, as in for multiplayer, we all wanted something different in Call of Duty. And it looks like we're getting it since it's based on the future. Is that a good thing? Uh, none of us know. All we know is going to be different. It could be in a good way or a bad way. And because of the past Call of Duties, I do have some worries, like the hit detection. After Modern Warfare 2, the hit detection fucked up like crazy. I don't know about World at War since I didn't play much of the multiplayer, so I can't remember, but it was horrible in Black Ops. It improved in Modern Warfare 3, but it's still there. So I really hope that it's much better in Black Ops 2. Another thing I'm worried about is the kill streaks. In the video they released, we see a big robot, and I don't want that shit in the multiplayer. Maybe if it walks slow and turns around slow, then okay, that way there's some slight chance that you can escape if you outrun it. Cause I do remember some things of World at War, and what I remember is that tanks don't fit in Call of Duty maps. And that shit in Black Ops 2 reminds me of a tank. So yeah, despite all my worries, I'm still gonna buy it on day one. Hopefully it's a good game, and most of us should enjoy it. I think I said enough of that. So let's go back to the gameplay. I've been dropping almost everyone that gets in front of me, and people seem to give more attention to the weapon instead of the player who's using it. It's not like if you get superpowers and now you can kill everybody with it. Look at that guy. What was he thinking? Disguised as a tree. I am a genius. Nope, I'm dead. <clears throat> Even though I earned Specialist, I changed my class because i supposed to defend now. I'm not going to be running around like a fucking idiot. i supposed to stay back and watch the bomb. And a few players get mad because they want everyone to run and gun, finish the rounds by kills, not by the objective. And that's, that's one of the things... I fucked up right there, but... That's one of the things that I hate about some players. They want to play every mode as Team Deathmatch. What the fuck? Why? They want to play kill confirm? They're not going to pick up the dog tags. They want to play domination? They're not going to hold a flag. They want to play capture the flag? They're not going to go get a flag. Hey, we should play headquarters. Fuck the headquarters. I'm going to stand right here. Get so many kills, they don't even fucking know it's coming. I mean, what are we going to do about it? That's how they enjoy their game, and it's a pretty good way to get bored of it fast. So, if you get bored of the game, maybe it's not even the game's fault. It could be the way you play it. And I want to point out that what this guy's doing right here, it's the best thing he could have done. He noticed that the bomb was right next to him, so he stayed there to defend the bomb. He might call that camping, but he's playing the objective. Of course he fucked up by leaving it out of his sight. The enemy could just go through the back stairs and take the bomb, which he did. 
And now this dude has to get out of his comfort zone and hopefully he doesn't fuck it up again. By the way, I'll let you gamers know my concerns about Black Ops 2 and I would like to know if you have any concerns so if you do, let me know in the comment section below. But back to the gameplay, what is this guy gonna do? Is he gonna go defuse the bomb or try to find the other guy? He's not there, motherfucker. And... Aw, oh, he played it safe! He played it... He, he almost fucked up. He almost fucked up, didn't he? He jumped right in front of him and almost died. But we still got the win. And that's it gamers, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to watch more of my videos, and I'll see you next time.